Hey there and welcome to Get Indie Gaming and to our weekly review and roundup of five of the most promising indie games coming out this week. Up next we've a medieval roguelike, a humorous tale of a detective frog and an award winning action puzzler. That being said, let's crack on with the countdown. Beginning with Steamberg, and while already out for the PC, it comes to the Switch this Thursday the 22nd. Steamberg's a striking looking puzzle adventure game with exploration elements woven into the gameplay. With 32 levels within various atmospheric steampunk locations, your main character Vincent Cornelius Moore takes on the menacing robots that have invaded your city. Vincent is unarmed and can only throw small electro-charged devices that temporarily halt the robot's progress while trying to lure them into the many Tulsa coil traps that sees them destroyed. With fantastic American and British voice acting throughout and an original score by Silver Rocket, Steamberg should fit rather nicely onto Nintendo's little handheld. Up now at number 4, The Haunted Island, a frog detective's game is a colourful looking affair, funnily enough, about a frog who wears a fetching brown jumper and matching trousers and happens to carry a magnifying glass. In this short hour long adventure out this week on the Mac and the PC, you'll play as this dapper looking frog to find the secrets of this spooky haunted island. Is there something really going on with the noises you've been asked to investigate, or is there nothing fishy happening here at all? Well that's up for you to discover with your investigative skills by way of finding clues and questioning the local population. By doing so, you should be able to pick up the various things that you need to get to the bottom of this mysterious tale. Sure, this all looks a touch silly, and yet that's often the joy of these sort of games that offer a playful experience while not taking things too seriously. The Haunted Island of Frog Detective game looks perfect to unwind with when a dose of silliness is the order of the moment. We've seen a couple of launch dates of this one, although we've picked out the 22nd. Apologies if this slips later in the month. Coming out on the PC November 22nd with ports onto the PlayStation 4 and Xbox in the first quarter of the year, Woodpunk looks very much to be a fast paced retro looking shooter with roguelike elements set within an alternate medieval era. Players control a genius inventor able to create weapons from randomly assembled independent modules. There's over 1400 different possible weapons with the likes of ice cannons and wooden chainsaws being the order of the day. The game levels and everything you see on the screen are dynamically created and all the objects from walls to carts to boxes can be destroyed. With a single player and couch co-op for you and a buddy, Woodpunk should offer a decent challenge and fill a spot for anyone this week looking for a retro inspired shooter. Finding its way into our number 2 position, coming from Thin Matrix and out this 23rd onto the PC. EQ Illinox is a nature sandbox simulation game where you're tasked with transforming a barren landscape into a fully diverse and dynamic evolving ecosystem full of plants and animals. Players will be able to shape the world to their liking and by doing so raise and cultivate many hundreds of different species of wildlife and vegetation. As your world grows you'll get to see the end to end life cycle for each of your creations and you'll need to manage the environment to ensure they have the resources they need to survive and prosper. Naturally enough, happy animals and plants live longer and breed or pollinate more, which in turn gives you more reward points which can be used to purchase a number of in-game resources. You can also use these points to genetically modify your creatures to offer any number of benefits for them within your environment. It's probably best to think of this one as being a variation on the city builder sort of thing, although in this case you're looking after and managing a divergent ecosystem rather than a city or colony. With this little twist to the genre and if this type of thing gets you going, it all looks rather promising. This week's number one, Storm Boy, is based on Colin Thiel's book written back in 1964 and takes place on the beaches of South Australia near the mouth of the Murray River. Launching this Thursday the 20th across iOS, PC and all the consoles, Storm Boy is an interactive novel that offers players a new way to experience this classic tale. You'll take control of the titular character together with Mr. Percival, an orphaned pelican chick who's become the child's pet and all-round faithful companion. 
Developed by Blowfish Studios, this new adaption recreates the key moments from Thiel's tale, and you'll also go about drawing in the sand, cockle hunting, sand surfing, and of course, feeding Mr. Percival when he gets hungry. We're very much taken by the art at play here, together with what promises to be a beautifully matching soundtrack. So, what did you think of this week's top 5 indie game picks? Let us know in the comments below or via Get Indie Gaming on Twitter. Many thanks for watching, and we look forward to welcoming you all back here again soon for more indie game goodness.